Young Cal is an underground emo rap musician from Denver, Colorado. Cal is a gifted artist and hopefully this video helps you learn a little more about him. If my friends knew me any less, I wouldn't have one. I feel the same today, the same as yesterday, the same as last week, and the same as every other day. And I'll do the same thing tomorrow, stay in my shell till it's hollow. Kel grew up near Albany, New York and was a good kid on paper. He took honors classes, he was the best golfer on his high school team and generally loved by his teachers. Little did his teachers know he had a dark side. Kel was partying every weekend and smoking weed every day before coming to school. In high school, Kel got into underground music pretty early. He was listening to underground rappers on SoundCloud as early as 2013. He said it was a fun little thing where him and his friends would compete to find small artists before they blew up. A couple of these artists include Joey Badass and Denzel Curry. Being that Kel was from upstate New York, he would travel to New York City to watch these artists perform. In 2016, Kel went off to college in Denver, Colorado, and he still lives there today. Once Kel got to college, he continued to party heavily. Not long after Kel was in college, he had a manic episode and fell into a full psychosis. This event was extremely traumatic for Kel, and when his parents noticed him acting strange over the phone, they called the campus security to go investigate. Kel was taken to the psych ward at Denver Health and was there for over a month while the doctors were trying to break his mania. The doctors had told his parents he would most likely be this way for the rest of his life because most patients with his condition would have gotten better by now if they would ever. The doctors believe Kel's mania came about from a combination of substance abuse and a skiing accident that happened a couple months prior. Luckily, Kel got better. The doctors put him on the drug lithium and he's pretty much been sober ever since. Kel missed the spring semester of his freshman year and his parents almost didn't send him back to school. However, Kel did end up returning to Denver in the fall. During the fall of 2017, Kel began making his own music as a form of therapy with an audio engineering student that he was friends with known as Holtsters. Kel said the songs at first weren't great, but they had passion and were growing together as artists. Through trial and error, the artists began to find what worked for them. Kel said the music they were making would fall into the emo rap genre, but leaned more on the hip hop side because Kel wasn't a capable singer yet. Holt pushed Kel to learn how to sing better by not letting him use autotune at first. A bit down the line, Holt got better at mixing and producing while Kel got better at singing and songwriting. The artists were budding and the first song Kel remembers being really proud of was the song titled Into the Ground, released on May 6, 2019. At this point, Kel's music caught the attention of a producer known as Sleeping Sight. Kel and Sleeping Sight collaborated on the song titled She's Nothing More Than a Witch, I Swear to God. This song was released on August 3rd, 2019 and was the first song Kel remembers doing good numbers and getting thousands of plays. Kel began making friends in the Denver music scene and thought it was cool to make real life friends through just music. A few artists he met include Luna, Pretty Funeral, and Sid Saya. Kel also started doing shows around this time. He opened up for artists such as Smart Death, Low Lotus, Coochie Highwaters, and Snot. He said these shows were cool and helped him gain a few new fans in the Denver area, but looking back, he doesn't feel like his music at the time was up to the standard it is today. Kel really loves performing, so when the COVID lockdown began and Kel wasn't able to perform, it was a big hindrance to his career. Fortunately, at the time of lockdown, Kel was living with Holt Stairs and the artists were still able to create together. After the pandemic situation started to loosen up, Kel went back to doing shows. He did a show titled Spooky Fest with the creator Spooky Gang amongst other artists. Spooky Fest was a free show at a bookstore slash coffee shop and the 60 person space was packed. Cal worked on booking the venue and Spooky worked on getting artists from around the country to come. The artists that came to the show stayed for the whole week and it was a great opportunity for Cal to create with like-minded individuals. Cal had also won an open mic competition around this time and was rewarded with a headlining show as prize. This show was held at a local vape store ran by creative business owners and Cal said it was a really cool experience. Over Kel's career, he's released a handful of cohesive projects. In July 2019, Kel made his first official project titled Supernatural. This project blended 80s dance music with an emo sound, and Kel was very proud of it. In January 2020, Kel dropped his first album titled Hit the Breaks. Hit the Breaks was a great album full of great songs. Some notable tracks on that album include Out of Place, produced by Tax Purposes, Strawberry Soda, which featured a Holt Stairs verse, and Hit the Breaks, produced by Pretty Funeral and Luna. Cal then went on to drop an EP titled Another Day in May of 2020. This EP featured production from Hold Stairs and Tax Purposes. Another Day was a special EP for young Cal because it featured the song Mosh Pit Migraine which was posted on the YouTube channel known as Scroll Gang with a Hunter Hunter AMV. This led to the song skyrocketing in streams. The song is currently at over 300k on YouTube and over 50k on Spotify. After this, Kel released his personal favorite project titled Seven Deadly Sins in October of 2020. The concept of the album is that each song is one of the seven deadly sins. This project was produced and engineered by Holdstairs. Kel said this project stands out sonically from his other music in a good way and the concept made it easy for Kel to write the songs. In October of 2021, Kel released a six track EP titled Poltergeist. This project was created the week of Spooky Fest produced by Pete Lowe's with Spooky Gang featured on guitar and a few songs. 
Kel's most recent project is a project titled Overthinking, produced and engineered by Holdstairs. The project came out in October of 2022 and is a stripped-backed, minimalistic, acoustic-style sonic landscape with themes of manic overthinking in the lyrics. Recently, Kel has been working closely with the producer known as Splash Gang. Kel caught Splash Gang's attention after the song titled Stabilize was posted to the YouTube channel Haunter in April of 2020, but the artists have been collaborating closely as of late. In November of 2021, Kel put out a song with production from Splash Gang and a feature from Young Van. This was the start of Kel's collaborations with Young Van and the artists still work together to this day. Lately, on the side of video content, Kel has been collaborating with his roommate known as Lane Lemmings. Lane has been shooting professional-grade drone footage of Kel and it has been a big help for Kel's branding. Kel's main goal with music is to spread awareness about mania. He said if more people knew about the struggles of manic attacks, he could have gotten help for his mania much sooner. He's a great artist with a great message. Well that's all for this video, big shout out to Hopeless for the edit, and please subscribe for more mini-documentaries on various underground artists.